We're gonna take this hind quarter yeah. and this front quarter. Then we're gonna go in and we're gonna use your sawzall. Yeah. So we need a cut that goes shh, right, kind of the opposite of yeah. a dorsal cut. So what do you want? You want a, you want a center cut all the way down? All the way down. All so, the way down. Okay. Yeah, I can do this the center cut. Okay. And then what do you want to do when you get get down to? Yeah, we got to leave proof of sacks. That's a... Sounds like somebody's. Yeah. Just asking for knives for sure. <sighs> All right, this front quarter is going to get lifted up and off here. What I'm going to do might... is cut right here and leave all this brisket there. Yeah. If, if yeah, that... I would. I'd cut. I'd cut as close into the bone as you could. Uh oh. Oh boy. My arrow. Right underneath there. All the way through. Jeez. And release. Oh, boy. That's a front. Got it. There we go. Come up straight up with it if you can. Just keep go, go more back and away. Yeah. yeah. Throw this down. I'm gonna try to go this way with it. You got it? Yeah. Okay. It's about it ready to All come. Right. Yeah, here it comes, guys. Uh, nice catch. Takes us camping. <laughs> what you got there? <sighs> like it in that the is a back strap, my friend. That baby got back strap. The back strap that never ends. <laughs> This is a tenderloin off a of bison. Most people would think that's a backstrap yeah. strap off an elk. It's a tenderloin. <clears throat> what you see here, folks, is where the arrow came through. I thought I had a complete pass through because my arrow disappeared. It hit this shoulder blade here, broke off, and that was, so it went through the lungs came out over here. And when JR gets done with his sawzall, you're gonna, we're gonna take it here, we're gonna take it there, lift this big set of ribs off so we can eat it. Flintstones. Gotta, gotta get some blood. There's a big pool of blood in there from the lung. Game and Fish sends you these and asks you to fill them up. Yeah, I, I had to fill it three fourths away full, I think. So I can I can take this top portion if you want to get that bottom portion. Okay. There we go. Maybe not. There we go. There's a half. 
A true half, half rack, rack rib. Rest. I'll just take a half rack. I'm not that hungry. <laughs> <laughs> also, I would be. Got it? Yeah. Also, That's a neck roast. Yeah, no, okay. this is this is this is this is one of this is one of my favorite cuts off an animal. That that connective tissue really at the end of the day ends up just becoming meat lube, and especially with wild game being as lean as it is, as often as it is, you're looking for those other things to supplement to make it really juicy and moist. And connective tissue just does this, just that. And you, you know you can see that that white that white tissue in here. These little pieces of tendons in here. That's a, that's exactly what that is. And so you can braise this. This will shred real well. Big big chunks of hams and and big big clean roasts on on a wild game animal don't shred real well. What what we classically think of as you know either doing like a pork shoulder or something that that shreds real evenly. On a on a wild game animal that the neck does a tremendous amount of that because it's got all this it's got the connective tissue which breaks down but it also isolates you know the individual a lot of the individual muscle fibers. And so it, it shreds really well. So a neck roast is, especially off a bigger animal, an elk or above, um, does awesome for making either barbecue or you can shred it, make barbacoa for tacos. There's just a, a lot of options for that. That is a huge hammer. <laughs> Chunk of meat in the bison. Yeah. The last time I shot a bison, as quick as I got home, I cooked the heart. And I ate on it for about three days. I probably had some sort of protein overload after that, but oh man. If that doesn't make you hungry, you don't understand what quality protein is. Yeah, he should be near as heavy now. That was easy. Got it, man. Yep. Okay. There we go. Take it out. Need to label the quarters. No. <laughs> Well, folks, this was a, I don't know what, 1,200 or probably larger, 1,200 pound or larger animal. All that's left is this spine. Got the cape, we're gonna roll that up, the whole hide, getting all that tan. Got the head, the tongue, the heart, the liver. Kidneys. Kidneys, bunch of the call fat. Tail. The tail. Uh, a bunch of the tendons and tissue for dog treats, uh, hindquarter, front quarter, back strap, tenderloin, neck roast, trim. <laughs> the ravens are going to be mad at us. But in a minute, when we go back to camp, the next segment you see is going to be us at camp cooking tenderloin. I think we need a stool or something. I wish we had more space because. Uh, so I got some acorn squash here and minced garlic throwing a just throwing some seasonings in here have these guys I'm gonna Basically just kind of wrap them back up Wrap them back up in tin foil and uh, I Think either in the fire pit or maybe this little guy right here. I might basically just kind of bake them in there That'll be our starch for the evening um, But uh, we'll do that. And we're gonna serve that with some uh, with the bison tenderloin. Just a little bit of salt and pepper and I got a little bit of leftover garlic from the from the squash. No, that's not a back strap, folks. That's a tenderloin. Yeah. That is how big a bison tenderloin is. So we're just gonna go right here.
I'll take those end pieces. I like those that are really oh. well. Oh, yeah. Right. Oh, my goodness. Oh. <laughs> if you aren't going to eat this, folks, you just get out of here. Change your channel. Help yourself to those. I got the squash halves over here. Just, just oh, 10 hours ago. This guy was still on the hook. Eight and a half hours. Mm. Mm. <laughs> if you wonder why I hunt, if you were here right now, the answer would be self-evident. Mm. Oh my goodness. That bad, huh? And if you wonder why I hunt bison, this is why. Is that, worth, is that worth 19 years of putting mm -hmm. in tags? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'll take that big fat dude right there. Thank you. Well folks, I don't know if you can hear this. The rain is on the canopy here making a lot of noise. It's converting to snow here in a couple hours, they say. And we are celebrating the fact that we have a bison down. Tomorrow is going to be a meat cutting party here to get all the bones out and get all the pieces and bags that trimmed up the way we want. And I don't know what else we're going to do tomorrow, but we're probably going to hit the road the next day if we can get out of here. But what's today? I don't even know what today is, but well, yeah, uh, in, a, in our sequence of uh, YouTube clips, I don't know what today is. Day three, day four, whatever, day two, whatever it is. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this as much as we did. We have a ton of really good YouTube videos coming up as part of this. Our buddy JR, all of his cooking videos, all the processing videos, everything. Stay tuned. If you haven't already, go down here and subscribe to our YouTube channel and you'll get notified every time we post a new video. Thanks for watching.